I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ from wherever you're tuning in. I trust, know and believe God is with you, God is good, and it is good on that side where you're watching from. My dear friend, I welcome you to this video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. And it is a pleasure and it is an honor to be with you today. It is by the grace of God that we can bring these videos to you on a daily basis. And by His grace, we'll keep on going. I tell you, my dear friend, every day that you get, is a gift from God. Perhaps you've clicked on this video and somehow it just landed on your page and you clicked on it and you're not in the best space. I want to encourage you in starting and say, thank God that at least you have another day to make your mark in this realm. Life is a gift. Every day that we get is a gift. Every opportunity that we get to live on is a gift. Every breath that we take in our lungs is a gift. In that regard, rejoice. If you're new to this channel, I encourage you, consider subscribing. Because the content that will be released here daily is content that is from the Word of God that will help you to grow and to become stronger. Today I want to do something different. I want us to pray together. And we're going to pray from Psalm 91. I want to lead you even as we personalize Psalm 91 so that whenever you watch this video and whenever you're in trouble or whenever you feel that you are going through too much, you can play this video and you can just say it along with me. There is so much power in the Word of God and when we speak it and say it out loud, power is released and that power goes out and makes an impact. And I trust, know, and believe in faith as an ordained minister of God that this will bless you. Now, as we begin, as usual in this ministry, we always welcome the Holy Spirit because we believe that on our own, in our own strength, we are weak and we need God's divine help. We need the divine help of the Holy Spirit. As mentioned in the Gospel of John chapter 14, 15, 16, we need the helper, that is the Holy Spirit. He helps us to pray, He helps us in various different ways. And soon I'll release a video on that. But let us begin. Wherever you are, just lift up your hands and open up your heart to God and surrender to Him. Say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come and touch me today and help me to pray. Help me to press in. Help me to receive as I say Psalm 91 with Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, my dear friend, let us begin by praising God. Let us thank Him and praise Him. And as we discern His presence, then we'll begin. Wherever you are, just begin to praise Him in your own words. Father, we just thank You and we praise You. We thank You for another day. We thank You for the gift of life. We thank You for Your gift of your mercy and your goodness and your gift of salvation through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank you that we are saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ so everyone can be saved. Everyone can have an opportunity at salvation. Everyone can receive deliverance from you through Jesus freely, not by our works, not by what we've done, but by what you've done by your grace and by your mercy. We give you praise and thank you for this in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you praise for all that you've created from the animals, to the plants, to human beings, to mankind and all creation, to the planets, to everything. We give you praise. We give you praise for the good things you do for us, the big things and the small things. We give you praise and thank you for your grace and strength to keep on going. And we give you praise and thank you that even today you're releasing that strength so that we can keep on going. 
and as we pray from Psalm 91, we know, we trust, we believe you will do what only you can do. And you will deliver my dear friend, dear son, my dear friend, dear daughter, wherever my dear friend might be watching from. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, my dear friend, as we begin, I want to encourage you. Comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. You're not just commenting to comment. You're commenting and connecting in faith. You're agreeing. It is a point of contact. And I will make a special effort to read the comments and to pray for each and every one of you who comments. But comment and agree and God will bless you. Now, as we begin, it's important that I mention this to you. We're going to personalize Psalm 91. We're going to read it as, as though we are saying it and mean it for us and our lives. So we are not changing the words in any ways, but we are personalizing it as we say it. So I'm going to go slowly through verse by verse, and I want you to follow after me. I'll give time for you to follow after me even as we go. So in saying that, let us begin. I dwell in the shelter of the Most High. I rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will deliver me from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover me with His feathers and under His wings I will find refuge. His faithfulness will be my shield and rampart. I will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at my side, ten thousand at my right hand, but it will not come near me. I will only observe with my eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If I say, The Lord is my refuge, and I make the Most High my dwelling, no harm will overtake me. No disaster will come near my tent. For He will command His angels concerning me, to guard me in all my ways. They will lift me up in their hands, so that I will not strike my foot against a stone. I will tread on the lion and the cobra. I will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because I love the Lord, the Lord will rescue me. The Lord will protect me, for I acknowledge His name. I will call upon the Lord and He will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. With long life will the Lord satisfy me and show me His salvation. Amen. Now, my dear friend, I encourage you. Save this video. Bookmark it if you have to. Whenever you need to pray Psalm 91 and personalize it. Find this video and pray along with it. If you have to at night, play it over and over. Put it on loop. Repeat it. If you know any friends or family who are going through anything hectic, understand and know there is power in the Word of God. And there is no quicker way to release that power that fights on your behalf than speaking the Word of God and personalizing it. Take hold of it. Take hold of what the Word is saying. Because through Jesus Christ you are born again and these things apply to you. What the Word of God says, the promises thereof, they apply to you. And you can take them and use them as your spiritual weapon so that you can break free and you can go to a greater glory. Now, once again, if you're new to this channel, I encourage you subscribe. Our God is good and is gracious. He is merciful and he is with you through it all. No matter what you may be going through, 
I want to encourage you. I've seen it in my own life and I've seen it in the lives of thousands. We've received thousands and thousands of testimonies from TV, from radio, in person, through online ministry, various different platforms of how God touched people and changed their lives. And if God can do it for me and for them, He can do it for you. Remember that. God can do it for you. And He will. Hold on to the Word of God. Because when the Word of God goes out, it goes out with power. And it does not come back until it accomplishes its mission. Keep saying it. Keep confessing it. Confess in line with the Word of God and you will receive your deliverance. You will receive peace. You will receive promotion to greater glories. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen. Now in saying that, we've come to the end of this video. I'll see you again soon with another video that will bless you. And I trust know, and believe God is going to take you to a greater glory. Until then, Shalom. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.